every part of my world is affected by my health. Every part. I was healthy most of my life. And uh, up until about five years ago, six years ago, my health started to go downhill significantly. My health relative to really my weight. I've had health issues, broke my back as a kid, cardiomyopathy at 38 years old, 40% blocked my left ventricle. I've had these problems throughout blind in my right eye, uh, lots of surgeries. It, it, my health has not, I've been to a hospital a lot in my life. But it really, at 38 years old, when I started the pills and, and heavy medication, uh, uh, up until my mid-40s, things changed in my life, uh, particularly as I got to be 46, 47 years old, and I ballooned up. And then a, a confluence of events that, that found me in Nashville, ten or just south of Nashville, Tennessee, where I moved from Portland, Oregon, and here I am at 303 pounds, again in the hospital, and I'm dying. And it, it, it was one of those things where I, it's like a frog in a pot. You just get sicker. You just get fatter. You just get more unhealthy. Your metabolism just slows down. And then you make excuses after excuses. And then one excuse lends itself to another excuse. And pretty soon everything's an excuse. And it's an excuse built on an excuse built on an excuse. I didn't say a reason. I didn't say a good reason, but an excuse. And that was me. And finally, I had to wake up from that. And here's the reality. And this is the thing I think about all the time about my health. The things that I'm able to do now, physically, mentally, emotionally, are, are in a 180 degree opposite direction of what I was able to do 23 months ago. So we think about health and we think about uh, weight loss as a physical thing, which it is, 100% is a physical thing. But it's also, I think, 100% of multiple other things also. We, we discount, I think, many times the impact that our health has, I know I did, on our overall, overall well-being, on all of the things that we do. I have a background in business. I've said it before. I've owned, bought, and sold dozens of business, or a dozen businesses, hundreds of millions of dollars. I've had great successes and great losses. I've dealt with more stress than you could shake a stick at, uh, probably more than most. But I'm able to come through it and able to work through it, number one, because of my mindset. Number two, because I was in pretty good shape. I refereed basketball. I played basketball. I played, bas played sports as a kid. I always went to the gym. Uh, I was pretty active. At times that I didn't, and I put on more weight, and then I'd go lose more weight. Never to where I was years or, or two years ago, but it would happen. And ultimately, here's what I learned through all of those successes and failures, both in, 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 in my personal life, in my business life my physical life, is that the physical is the top and everything is downstream of it. So if you're fat, if you're 300 pound Jerry trying to work businesses and make deals and try to try to be successful or find more success or start something new or whatever, make hard decisions or go get a job, uh, if you're new in the market, whatever it is, get a promotion, start your own business, quit working for somebody else, whatever it is. Your health has to be at the top of that. So is it possible to be fat and out of shape with a crappy American diet and find success? Yes. And find success? Yes. There are successful people absolutely that do, and people are listening to my voice now that do. But I'm telling you that you're leaving something on the table. So I think that the successful person, and we can define a success however you want. We're, I'm talking about monetary here. The successful person who's fat would have been more successful and, and found more uh, return monetarily or would have got there quicker if they weren't fat. They would make better decisions because now we're on the mental side because you're not operating at 100%, not even close. As someone who is driven hard and is a competitor and is a fighter, I can tell you that I was, I was so not the person I am today 23 months ago. That person that I was 23 months ago could not even comprehend dealing with this person here today. It wouldn't even be possible. So I want to say that so that everyone understands that so much of what's happening in your life today, if this is you, if you are the 300, 400 pound Jerry 
from 23 months ago. Understand that you feel the way that you do. You're having the arguments with your wife the way you are. You're battling with the kids the way that you are. The job isn't going the way that you want it to do. Want it to go. You don't feel as good as you should. You have all sorts of ailments and diseases and aches and pains and and stresses, right? You're depressed maybe. All of those things start the well for this, the spring from which all of that comes is your weight. You cannot fix all of those things. You will never find the answer to those things the way that you want them to as long as you are carrying that. Just understand you are compromised. The compromised Jerry of 23 months ago, as I said, could not begin to comprehend dealing with the 242-pound, 130 pounds of lean mass animal that I have built fueled by a diet that is perfect, that keeps me operating at maximum efficiency. The competitive disadvantage that Jerry had from 22 months ago, 23 months ago, to this one is infinite. Doesn't mean that Jerry might have won. He could have. But I'm telling you, homeboy would have had to work a billion times harder to stay ahead of this one. Now, that works in business. That works in life, relationships, wives. Husbands, it works again in business, your job, your promotion, school, whatever you're trying to do in life. I think that the foundation for that needs to be a healthy lifestyle, a healthy diet, going out and exercising and keeping your weight at a level that's reasonable because you're fighting many battles in life. We make it so much harder on ourselves when we're fighting ourselves physically in that battle. Opportunities are everywhere. You got to go get them. Go for a walk. 